These ash trees are completely, there's no leaves on them anymore because they're dying. The emerald ash borer, or EAB, invaded these woods and started leaving their signature squiggly pattern in the phloem of every tree they touched. Here's your like standard D hole. And that's where the emerald ash borer like dug in and laid its eggs. EABs have spread across at least 58 of Minnesota's 87 counties since 2009. And American ash trees have no resistance. So in this state alone, a good chunk of a billion trees are at risk or already dying. Because there are no defenses that if just left unchecked, emerald ash borer probably will you know, decimate the ash population in in Minnesota. You can fend them off with insecticide treatments like this tree here has had, but it costs about $200 a pop. And this tree alone seems to have had five of them. So it can get really expensive and it's especially cost prohibitive in the forest or the woods. You can't go into that kind of environment and start treating all those trees. That's not feasible. More feasible on a large scale is introducing a new predator, which is why the Department of Agriculture recently released a thousand wasps in this park. Wait a second, wasps? The ones that we are releasing are wasps that will not sting humans. And they're so small that probably nobody's ever even going to see them. Most of them are in the pupal and larval stage in little containers on the trees. They'll only live if they can feed on EAB eggs and larvae, so they shouldn't create any new problems. MDA has released them in 55 locations so far and seen some success, so these Chisago County woods at least have a fighting chance. Hopefully some trees will be able to survive, and maybe over time they'll even develop their own defense mechanism. Buying time to get EAB. Babies to buzz off.